What is up, everybody? We have another hero challenge for the month of December, Amazo by Design. That is what we're gonna do today in this video. We're gonna try to go through as much as the challenge, hopefully be able to complete all of it, kind of showcase a new hero as well. I did have a hero upgrade video that I did plan, but to be honest, I didn't get it done. That's pretty much how it is. I wanted to get it out before this video came out, before I had to do this, and I just didn't get it out. Plus, it kind of gives me, I, I don't want to do 60 anymore. I need to increase my level. I need to go to 65 to 70, something like that. But uh, yeah, if you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit the sub button. My other YouTube page, Twitch and Twitter, all that's in the description. But this is who we got. And as you see, I upgraded Starf Sapphire. From what I understand and what I've practiced, man, she is amazing absolutely amazing probably one of my favorite characters that i've played with so far and we don't have a lead for this particular event but uh she does have the ability to apply men's to other characters and we do have miss martian who can put shield on there so i think for the most part we should be okay but uh yeah let's go through this y'all have to let me know how far did you get in these challenges what do you think of amazo so far what'd you think about his animations what did you think about any of that stuff hopefully he's a good guy another green though that's really weird why are they doing so many greens what's up uh amazo jessica cruz you know what guys totally off the subject but i obviously i'm not wearing glasses because i got contacts I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old, man. I cannot read my phone. It's so frustrating. So I got to like sit back like three feet so I can read it. Amazing. Jessica Cruz, a sense, if I, if I say the wrong word, it's because I can't see it. A sense of, I sense a source of great power in you. Surrender now or you will regret it. That doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't you be the one surrendering? That's right. You tell him. Professor Ivo designed me to mirror your abilities, allow me to show you. This is kind of where I wish they would put Amazo off to the side. Maybe give you the chance to use him or something like that. I think it'd be a good touch with these events. Now we got Aquaman. Do you intend to take down the Justice League single-handed? You're nothing more than a machine. It's kind of hurtful. And uh, you've just proved me that the power of the... Wait. And you've just provided me with the power of the Trident of Neptune. Does he copy the... Can he copy the powers of anybody? Like, do you have, like, uh, I guess pick one of the tunes and you just pick them and it copies their abilities? That's that, That'd be really sweet. Defeating me is going to take more than a sad replica. My purpose is to adapt and avert evolve do not challenge me he has some uh high tidy pants doesn't he that's like, like you thought you thought your parents in the 70s wore their pants above their belly button yo that's definitely above their belly button you hold power like i haven't ever seen before it will play against you today there's no need for you to do this amazo don't you see you're being used as nothing more than a tool man all these guys are so mean to them you speak from fear. I'll help you open your eyes. Okay. So no problems. Uh, I actually thought that this team comp might do really well. Just for the simple fact that they all buff all the time. And Star Sapphire will give men's to everybody all the time. She's really good. I've had a lot of fun playing with Star Sapphire. This is the second to last boss node. It's still doing it on auto. And I mean, I don't know, man. This looks like the best team comp I've ever done with one of these things. We'll just have to see how well they do at the very end. The last boss node, I'm going to leave it on auto to see how well it does. But uh, every other one of these that I've ever done, I've actually had to do them and put in somewhat of a strategy. Because remember, these are still level 60. These are still only gear 10 characters. But, um, and, and with no lead at that. I mean, even with no lead, they still do really well just because of all the buffs, all the men's, and all of that stuff. But uh, even still, I think I think we'll be able to get the last one. Final battle at 29,000. I'm actually going to do this one, though. I mean, I don't want to go through the entire thing on auto. I want to at least experience it, have a little fun. We got Heart Girl at the end. I wish we could use Hot Girl. 
She is one of the characters I want to level up for sure. I can't allow the rest of the Justice League to be exposed to your powers. This ends now. Why do you insist on defying me? So I'm wondering if he's going to be able to stun in this last round or, or what. Let me take this thing off auto. Um, yeah, so far, I mean, we've been doing pretty well. We've made it this whole way with on auto, not having to worry about anything. But we're going to give it a shot. I kind of want to showcase at least Star Sapphire because I was supposed to do a video on her. Never did because, I don't know, I just didn't get it done. Hopefully we get our buffs, and we do, and then Hush will get his buffs as well. Already kills somebody, Star Sapphire, drops the bomb on him. Look at all that. Oh. Uh, old red guy hit. That guy, that boy hit. We're going to have to get rid of him though. Let's shield up though. We need to shield up. Let me silence him just in case. Let me heal myself. Ooh, that guy means business. We need to get rid of him. He does mean business. He does hit hard, but good thing we got a good overheal right there. All right. The other two guys I'm not too worried about. Even though they're big tanks, get that double tap, even though that's not going to do much. Get some more. Oh, I don't even think he got the buffs that time. Gives us some strength ups. All right. Got us some mens that time, too. Star Sapphire has been uh, taking some shots from the Reds. And she's been doing alright with it. We, let's give her some more shield. I don't know why they keep attacking her. Like, leave her alone. Leave her alone, for real. Okay. So, so far, so good. Um. Oh, wait. We want to get... Oh, yeah. Strength down all the way. Pop. Look at that. Uh, I got tons of crit chance, so let me just swipe it. Big ol' shot. We gotta get rid of the red because the red is gonna be the one that takes out Star Sapphire. Oh, I should have did the second ability. That's my bad. That's my oops. Do we want to take the blue or the red? <sighs> kind of feeling like the red is more of a threat for Star Sapphire. He puts a uh, disease on. Interesting. I don't know if I knew that or not. I can't remember. Did I know he put this disease on? All right, so the red guy's gone. Blue guy's getting ready to go. We probably could have done this on auto. I mean, no lead or nothing. Just Star Sapphire. Like, that's how good she is. That's how good her kit is. She has so much sustain with all of her healing, her overheals, her strength downs, her mends that she adds to the rest of the team. I have really enjoyed playing as uh, Star Sapphire for sure. She is probably going to be one of the characters that I start leveling up first. I'm thinking that like now I have 12 full characters. No, 13 characters that are level 60, gear 10, maxed out abilities. And so what I was thinking was is that since I have so many characters, I need to start taking them up. So I'm thinking that what I'll do instead of saying I'm going to level them to like level 65. I think what I'm going to do is just start to increase them all to just like 6,000 power and then go to 6,500 power and kind of see how it works from there. But I don't know. I don't know. Let me in the comments. Let me know in the comments. What do you think is the better idea? Do you think it's leveling them by level or leveling them by power? This is it. This is it actually feels good to be able to breeze through this and not actually stress whatsoever. Never even had a problem, uh, even though they were 10,000 power over us. We got tons of disease on there. Do you really want your purpose to be what was imposed onto you by Ivo Amazo? We're not against you. Open your eyes. I will find you. I will have my revenge and choose my own fate. But for that, I will still need to take your own power. God, it's so hard to read. I'm telling you, the thing, it looks so blurry. But GG, man. Easy peasy. Does feel good to get through it. Breeze it on through. But uh, yeah, we got 299 shards. Let's unlock him. Let's do the legendary unlock. Let's check out his animations and uh, see what he has. 
Whoever opposes, we will only make me more powerful. Whoever opposes me will only make me more powerful. His... I mean, I those aren't pants. But, oh no, they are pants. Why are they so high? Is that how his character model? I, I'll be honest, I really don't know much about Amazo at all. Um, so his character model is definitely new. His character is new, at least for me. Why is his pants so high? Is the whole bottom like mechanical? Is that what it is? And the top part is all like human form and everything that's green is all like mechanical or something? Is that what it what is going on? Bio. Uh, Amazo is an android created by Professor Ivo, originally designed as the Amaze operating system, but built to replicate superhuman abilities and weapons. Amazo quickly became the opponent strong enough to face Justice League, but uh, his power also made him realize that he was more than a tool to his creator. Not gonna take out Firestorm though, buddy. Hate to tell you, but Firestorm's the best. All right, so let's uh, upgrade him a little bit, test out his abilities, kind of see what they look like. Let's see what this legendary unlock looks like. Wonder if he has uh, high waters, high tight. What, what do you call them? What do you call them? Like, I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I know there's a term for it. The the. The type of pants that you wore, like above your belly button, in this case, it's all the way up to his boobies. But, legendary unlock anyway. Let's go, Amazo! The Vengeful Replicator. Okay, see, now I like this. I like this, man. He looks definitely android here. Like, you could almost tell that. His, like, like it really looks like the top part of his body is different than the bottom half of the body. Not, not that he's just wearing pants or jeans or whatever. It l really looks like, like, you can really tell that it's two separate pieces. I'm kind of digging this, man. That guy's swole. He's almost like Frankenstein with, like, a whole bunch of different pieces, like, glued together. It's kind of nice. His abilities, real quick, uh, replica damage to a single target, 75% chance to apply to disease. I'm assuming that'll probably go up to 100%. And then legendary, also apply to disease to that single target. So I guess four diseases, right? Yeah, you can put on four diseases on one shot. Fast learner damage to a single enemy and apply to strength downs to int downs, which is nice. Strength and int cover both uh, cover both things. If the target is infected with disease, apply stun. Kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of like hot girl type of abilities. And then we got uh, battle cry damage and steal one buff from each enemy from each enemy which is kind of nice i wonder if the rent I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be random buffs it just says steal one buff apply disease to primary target as well passive ability every time amazo receives damage he has a 50 percent chance to use replica on the attacker and that looks like it goes to uh 16 9 25 75 percent and then also steals two buffs from the attacker. Passive every time a teammate is buffed. 50% chance for Amazo to gain two strength ups. I love characters like this, man, that have those passive abilities that do awesome things whenever teammates are buffed. Because as you just saw from the team that we used, uh, Star Sapphire has one of those where she just like applies a whole bunch of things when people get buffed and there are so many characters that pretty much buff on on a lot of attacks. So you can almost slide him into one of those. Of course, again with Lex, how he applies buffs every single time. Um, that's cool. You can get him with a whole lot of strength ups. Almost get him like hot guy guy right he's I, I don't have him but he is the one that like gets strength ups every single time you hit him right i think i think that's and when when he stacks them man he could certainly hit like a truck 
Also gained 50% he healing. All right, let's check out these animations. I would have done a harder one, but I only have 10 energy left. And I spent like, uh, I spent 500 gems just to get through that thing. So I don't want to spend another 240 just to do one single mission. So yeah, let's uh, do this. Let's check out his animations, see what they look like. Uh, one of these is Medfell's taunt, right? Yeah, let's do that. Put this thing on uh, one speed. This is his third ability, which is damage and steal one buff from each enemy. And these are bots, right? They don't have any buffs, so uh, yeah. Let's just see what it looks like. Uh, reminds me of Black Canary, almost. Looks cool though. I like the red around it and he looks mm, angry. He looks angry. What is this? Uh, strength downs, right? Uh, damage immunity. Do that. Okay, let's see if his second ability, uh, single damage to a target, apply two strength downs, two int downs. Oh, that's cool. And that reminded me of uh, uh, Zod. That looks just like Zod's move where he like goes like this and he runs, and then he like looks down on him. Like he looks straight down and like does the laser. That's one of my, I, I mean, it's one of my favorite I just love his animation to when he hits him and he just like jerks down really quick, you know, and he kind of like steps up. To, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is about that animation, though. I really like it. But that's still kind of cool. I mean, I like it. All right. His uh, number one. Cute little run he had going on there. By the taunt. Another one. He does like a mm, uppercut right in the gut. Hey, does he have some sort of counter? I wonder what his passive was that does counter. When he takes damage, right? It was something about taking damage. Passive, every time it receives damage, he has a 50% chance to use the replicator. Okay. So, and that could be up to 75%. That's right. Every time a teammate is buffed, 50% chance to gain two strength ups. And he's gaining strength ups too. Like, these are things that I haven't even been paying attention to. So let's check out his three again. He has strength ups. This should kill him. Almost. I didn't put any gear on him. I didn't put anything on his abilities. I didn't do any of that stuff. I just wanted to check out his animations and... Yeah, they look cool. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Y'all have to let me know. What do you think of Amazo so far? Do you like him? Uh, it's kind of weird that we got another green character. And I'll be honest, even though I kind of like his kit, his kit feels very, I don't know, typical, I guess. Like typical meta type of thing. I mean... It feels like you slot them in with the normal people. Like you put them in with people that just buff constantly and that's what you would do. But I am by far no expert, so don't take my word on that. Um, I would like to see characters that have like a crazy weird unique kit that can go with, I don't know, give me somebody that can make Blue Beetle better. Okay, that's what I want. I want I want a character that can make Blue Beetle better. Because I'm tired of seeing him at the bottom. I love that guy. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. Hit the thumbs up, and I will see y'all again soon. Good luck on getting Amazo. I mean, I like him. I do. He's just another green, though. And it kind of feels like his kit. Feels like I would only put him with the same people I already have. And I don't want that but then again he can be put with anybody that gets buffs so maybe there's a little bit more of a variety we can put him with i don't know we'll just have to see as soon as he gets leveled up but uh yeah hopefully y'all have a great weekend and i'll see y'all again soon i am out peace